there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Let them know who you are. Flying up in a bar. Wish on a star. Time to show them who's in charge. Hello, welcome to Lee Simmons TV. What are we talking about, Nudge? What, what <laughs> we're talking about, right? Um, that's brilliant, isn't it? No, I want to, right, I want to dive into a bit about why are the top teams, Le Leicester, Leeds, Ipswich, why are we struggling to find form at this sp this stage of season? Right, so that's what we're talking about. Hey, I'm all right. I'm, I'm a bit more alert, alert, alert than you. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to, to um, start a show. You just troll in and say I've just woke up. I know. Can tell. How doing, Danny? All good, Lee. Yeah. How doing, Jess? I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm good. Good, good, good. Everyone's in chat as we can see. Avinda, good to see you, mate. My, my advertising campaigner. Hope we're doing well, mate. Hope we're doing well, Avinda. I'm fine and we're doing well. Uh, Stacey, hello, Stacey, my lovely. Hope you're doing well. You little charmer, you, you little charmer. Potato Stu called me that today and I blamed you for it, Jess. Oh, you little um, charmer, Stu. Yeah. <laughs> um, think it's each town and Leicester City will get automatic spot in the um, Premier League next season. So you don't think Leeds are going to get in, um, in, in, in automatic? That's my opinion. Not wrong with having an opinion, um, Avinda. I think a lot of Leeds fans and Leicester fans and probably Ipswich fans, if they're truthful to themselves, they won't have a clue. They won't be able to say exactly who's going to get in and who isn't. Um, Leeds United players for me, Stu, Lee, um, Lee, Stu, Stacey, Jess, and that's Danny up there next to me. Um, that's Danny, if you want me, Danny Avinda. Um, yes. that's Danny, mate. Um, doing good, Avinda. And um, Naomi, hi, Naomi, how are you doing? Big up, How's Bowling. your neighbors doing? <laughs> Who's your daddy? Hey, <laughs> Uncle. Well, <laughs> Everyone's in. Look, um, stay. Oh, did you want to tell you? Stacey sent her um, a message saying that she's seen your smile, Lee. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, still has been getting about in Facebook community lately. She's had she she everybody. Bloody hell, I can't get away. <laughs> you love it, really, Stuart. What are you lying for, you little charmer? <laughs> Yeah, I do not do Facebook. Claire Love will be doing well. Good to see you in here, Glove. Good to see you. Um, uh, uh, Claire, before I forget, um, Jesse's going to be doing the um, Ch Chelsea Everton watch along um, straight after this. So, if, you know, jump over and get, show our, our Jess some support. It'd be, greatly, it'd be greatly appreciated from me, definitely. 100%. Always welcome, Claire. Always welcome. Oh, okay. You're approachable, aren't like you, Jess, my lovely? You're approachable. I'm not a bad. I'm not a bad one, no. No, you're not. You're not. Um, are you, Jess? Um, cult queen, Naomi says. Where's that Pick stick, Jess? Where's that stick? I don't know where Where's the one's gone, you know. I've lost it. I'm fuming. I, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to... I, I, I don't want to speculate. I've really got to get it. I'm off to get it. <laughs> I can see she it. She's probably find her own thing that she's got it somewhere. Yeah, but it's here, look. I know what you were getting at. You were keep all bleeding. I'll be quiet at six o'clock. Look, that's not a lie good. now. Lie. <laughs> Stop telling your ass with this, Stu. <laughs> Kidding me. Marcus, hope you're doing well. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Claire, love. Thank you very much. That's appreciated. That really is. It's appreciated. Mm -hmm. uh, massively appreciated. Right, right. This is what right, this is what I found so far, Danny. Right now, bear in mind that I've been a, a lot's happened um, in the last well, twenty four hours. So um, I just want to share share this screen with you, Danny. Tell me what you think to this, right? Um, right. So Ipswich are first. I'm right in saying that. Ah, Ipswich are first yeah. at the table, right? So this is on um this is on footy stats where I found all this information, 
right? So if you look at this, right, this is what I want to show you. This, so this is its rich town. Um, currently, right, they're in excellent form, according to the points per game, what they've been getting. Oh, yeah. yeah. But then you go to, you go to Leicester, right? They're in excellent form, according to the stats, right? And then you go to Leeds, and we're in excellent form. And then right, you go well, to Northampton, and they're in very good form. Right, well, in the stats, if you're doing it on the stats by games, Leeds United are actually two places behind Leicester on the stats of um, games here. I think Leicester are in 12th and we're 14th or something like that. So, so what I'm trying to say is, no matter how, right, we, we could spend all day long looking at stats and looking at how it's gone wrong, but the stats don't tell you the full story, if that makes yeah. sense. Oh, shit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What about you, Jess? Where, where, and it ain't just championship. It's not just championship at this moment in time. Um, Liverpool are struggling. Arsenal are struggling. I don't know what it is. What is it? I don't know what it is. What's causing it? Nerves, maybe, Stu. I don't know. Look at Liverpool. Yesterday, yeah. that was so similar to watching Leeds versus Blackburn. Had so it many was. chances, and it was just you just knew they weren't going to score. And same with Leeds. I don't know. I don't know if the wheels have fallen off a little bit on Leeds and Leicester. I, I just think we've got two really hard away games now. And I'm not going to make the bones about it. I'm not going to say Middlesbrough will be hard away. And so will QPR. The difference with Middlesbrough and QPR is they've both got something to fight for. QPR have yep. relegation. And Middlesbrough can still get in the playoffs. It won't be easy. These three games are going to be bloody tough games. Indeed. Well, what sort of games what are left, Jess, um, each team? Um, West Brom, I mean, Southampton have still got five games to play. Five games they've got to play. Yep. Western I mean, have got four and we've got three each, Hills and Ipswich. I mean, Ipswich on paper, they're, they're two really tough away games to go. I think Leeds as well. I think West Brom will be tough for Leicester. And Southampton's got Preston tomorrow on Tuesday. I'm going to be covering that game. We've got a three-way watch along going on with that. I mean, the silly thing is Southampton could still go up in automatics. I don't know if the pressure's got to players. It just doesn't feel right at the minute. And that was the same with Leicester on Friday when they lost 1-0 to Plymouth as well. Well, you yeah, have to say I, I, they lost 1-0 to Plymouth and then they lost the game before 1-0 to Millwall. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm, you know. I'm, I'm actually with Jeff on this. I think it's the pressure, but I also think that the teams at the top, Ipswich, us, Leicester... Same with the Premiership, I'd players out on international duty and got injured, injuries, which hasn't helped any team. Do you know what? I, I've, always, I've always thought the hardest thing when you're out of form is to find form. Yeah. Now, can, I don't want to come on here and say, ah, Leeds are definitely out of this because I don't think. Ipswich are in, uh, sorry, I don't think Leicester are in fine form, I really don't. I think I think Leicester's had more, more negative results that, since the Leeds, since we played them, than what we've had, if I'm honest. Yeah, but if you look at it this way, Stu, if, if we lose to Middlesbrough and lose to QPR, out of the three matches that Coventry have got left, only need a point to get promoted. You see, Potato Stu says maybe it's added pressure. Well, shouldn't this be where you where you should be? You should reach your peak now, Danny. This should be. But we've been through this before, Stu. It's happened not long back under Belize, and on it will eat. Yeah, you should be thriving on that. But they're not doing. Do you think that's why we're all nervous as Leeds fans, Danny? Because we know what happened previously, and that is pressure. It's not just that. It's not just happened with Bielsa. If you look at Simon Grayson's reign, yeah, we were yeah, yeah, there, and then ended up missing out on playoffs. We were top at uh, first two for ages, and then we couldn't, couldn't buy any players when uh, Grayson was there. We ended up finishing seventh. Yeah. Is it? Could it also be a case, Danny, that some of our players have got a soft underbelly? <laughs> You see, out of the players, out of the players that were there that got promoted last time, right? So you've got Cooper, you've got Bamford, 
You've got Shackleton. You've got Cresswell. Um, you've got Gelder. What? You've got Archie Gray. Back when Archie Gray was 15, Gelder, yeah. teenager. Um, Cresswell, teenager. Bamford, we're in his tw late 20s. Cooper was late 20s. Um, but your two main senior ones are Bamford and Cooper. They haven't got that full accomplishment of having more experienced players. And Cooper's not playing, so he's not. I don't think he can get it over to the players as good as what he's hoping to do. Bamford, he's probably trying his best as, as a lot of. Because uh, when you see the interview with um, on Leeds United official podcast with Matty or Joseph, he's saying Bamford's helped him a lot. But helping him in, putting, telling him what positions to be in and stuff like that, it's different for me is to say, um, come on, get your head screwed on. You know what I mean? We're in a, we're in a promotion fight. Let's do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's... For me, I think I think we've got. For me, I think we've got too many youngsters. Well, youngsters, early twenties, in a squad that haven't been up against this. Look at Ampadu. His last three, last three teams that he's played for have all been relegated. Nonto's not been in the promotion because they were a jury and they were the best team in the league. Um, Rodon, been at Swansea and at Spurs, not been in a promotion fight. You've got um, Firpo. One thing's at Barcelona, but it's a totally different game, totally different style of football. In England, you've got Somerville. Yeah, but Kamala. No. Kamala. He was at Rangers. There's only two teams in Scotland that you have to beat. Mm. I agree with that. I do. I agree with what Danny's saying. So, what? But, but, but Leicester, Danny, right? Right, coming down from the coming down from Premier League, right? You'd expect Leicester and Southampton to have the squads they had because they've been in Premier League longer than Leeds had, right? Mm -hmm. Leicester, Leicester. I mean, yeah, it's, um, Southampton sold one of one of um one of their key players in James Ward Prowse. Is that Danny got his back? Um, they, Southampton sold James Ward Prowse, one of their key players, but you. <laughs> Ips, Ips, you know, Ipswich, they've come up with a chap with a League One side. They didn't bring in a lot of players, did they, Jess? Correct me if I'm wrong here. Ipswich didn't spend mad in summer, did they? In that summer when they come up, right? No, no they didn't. So how come they can? Come on, chat when we're in League One with them. They're doing right. really well and we're struggling. That's like that's like us, Stu, when we, went, when we won the championship and went up into the premiership, the momentum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is what that means with Ipswich. Stu, they don't spend a million pound or more than a player. They brought Jack Taylor in from Peterborough, one point seven five. George Hurst from Leicester, one point seven five. That were in January. Al Al Ham, sorry, yeah, excuse, me. I can't say in Hamadi, one point one seven. They've they've got them on, you know, loan transfer key for more Scarlet from Tottenham under twenty ones transfer Hutchinson from Chelsea under twenty ones. Loan transfer, Brighton, Sarameto, you know, Travis, have all loan deals. Brandon Williams from Man United, transfer. You know, they're all loans. Yeah. They've been, so, if, if all, they've spent £3 million, pounds, Stuart. So, you see, this, 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 so if they can do it with players like, on a, who were on the verge, like, a, you know, they've come out, they've gone on loan and stuff. Is it just, I mean, maybe that's a maybe Scooby's right. It's an impossible question, though. An interesting one. It's a bit like why is Miss Piggy meant to? Um, why is Miss Piggy mean to Kermit the Frog? I get what he's saying about it being an impossible qu question, but no matter which which way I've tried to find the answer, every time you think you've found a, you found a, you found the answer to the question. You look at the other team, and and then you, you, you that's the answer you found is it's immaterial, it's irrelevant because Ipswich have done it without bringing in Joe Perot, 
um, who were leading goal scorer, or one at leading goal scorers from Swansea at Leeds. You know, it's Leicester with um, Vardy in DD and, and, and Ian Acho and stuff like that. They've got the, you know, it, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't make sense to me. Um, that's we, we, Claire's we, daughter, by the way. She comes in your chat, um, Jess. That's ever. That's Claire's yeah. daughter. Stu, we, we did exactly the same as Ipswich is doing when we got promoted to the Premiership. We didn't buy anybody. It was mm -hmm. just the momentum that took us up there. Team spirit, yeah. the momentum. We've done First exactly season. So the momentum, so the, you think momentum's a big key then? You think momentum's a massive key in whether yeah. you're going to be successful or not? Well, look yeah. at Leicester when they won that premiership in what, 2005, uh, 2015, 2016. It were a lot of momentum. So, yeah, momentum well, yeah, they, were, they didn't have the best squad. They didn't have the best um, players in the league, but they had they had the be um, best team in the league, if that makes sense. Yeah. They had good... But it's like Donis is momentum's out, and you, you look at your breakdown with each with suspend. They've spent three million pounds. That's it. So, yeah, I am at Ellis. I love you doing well. Um, but yeah, it's I just can't work it out, Danny. And same with Premier League as well. It's not just Championship. This is happening. It's happening in Premier League. Arsenal were on cuff of doing something great, and they go balls it up. Um, after seeing what Liverpool, after the result Liverpool got as well. You would have thought that would have been a bit of a kick up the backside to say to Arsenal, look, we, you know, we win this game, that's one who's out of it. It's one who's out at running in Liverpool. But even they slipped up. And, you know, they've got all the... They, they've spent millions on that team. Yeah, I, I think... You know, I think it's mostly pressure. You know what I mean? I don't think... Like in the Premiership, I don't think Arsenal want to... Well, they'll want to win it, but... They don't want to win it if you understand what I mean. Arsenal are slipping up, Liverpool are slipping up, Man City aren't scoring as much as what they were scoring last season. But you know what I mean? It's like Leeds, they want to win it, but can't seem to get over the line. Leicester, same. Ipswich, same. You know what I mean? It's just, I think it's a pressure of trying not to, trying to match each other's results if they can. That's what it is. No. Right, we, we, I know. I know. I know. It's still advantage um, Leicester because they've got a game in hand over Leeds, and S Southampton still have to win all their games to even catch. You know, to get in front to, to go two points clear of Leeds. I think it is. Are we? Are we saying then to all? Our, are we saying then at this moment in time? This. This. The, it, I mean, I thought Leeds were out of it. I thought Leeds were totally out of it. I thought players were his best. Are we now saying then, Danny, that it isn't all over after all? I don't... It all depends, for me, on our result against Middlesbrough at weekend on Monday. If we don't win that, it's over. Yeah, but I'm not expecting that from Middlesbrough. This, this is my problem. This is the worry I've got. I was expecting some against. Um, I want to. I, I, I want to expect a lot from Coventry. I won't lie, but I was expecting us to beat Blackburn. I really was. I thought. I thought that the. You know. I thought we had an. I thought we were given an extra life after that Coventry game, because um it, because Leicester lost, but we, we we you know and the the Middlesbrough game. Let's be honest. They see it as a derby. Do, yeah, um, we don't. Do, do a Middlesbrough. This is their this this is their cup final, and they'll want to do nothing more than to get one over us. You see, I think it might help us against Middlesbrough because that they, they've still got a chance of getting playoffs, mm -hmm. and I think it'll help us against QPR because they're they're going to be coming out and wanting to avoid relegation. So when teams come out and play against us, we seem to be better. But mm -hmm. I think it's all down to the player mentality. Um, just like Lee's list on this question, I was thinking earlier and I had um, no real answer. However, I did decide a few things. Joseph up top, Somerville on the bench last 30, and our number our one sub who can change the game. Archie, um, back at right back, that's about it. You see, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play Joseph up front, to be honest. I think 
I think with it only being three games and what's on the stake, I think the pressure could get to him. I'm not saying it will, but imagine him missing. Imagine him getting sent off straight red. That's him missing for three games. Imagine him getting a really bad injury. That's him missing. Imagine him missing two, three sitters. His head's going to go down. You need what your are fans gonna be like? What are fans going to be like if he misses a sitter? Exactly. You need. You need. I know. I know. Everybody don't want Bamford in there, but it's an experienced player who's been there and done it. So I, I, I don't understand, Danny, why we don't. I mean, look. To be fair to Farkin, he made the changes. He made. He made. He made three changes. But I thought we were going to. I, I did. I thought we'd be lucky to see one, if I were honest. And that change yeah. you said about um, bringing in Roberts, moving, um, moving um, Gray um, in the midfield, right? But do you think Gray looks a bit tired, Danny? To be honest, I think Gray is better at right back than he is in midfield. Wow. I agree. Wow. I have to agree. And that player who I've always had a big go at is is Pro. And I thought I thought Pro had an half decent game, Danny. Not not perfect, but an half decent game. He were up, he were in attack more. He were right end of pitch a lot more than what I thought. It was, than he, he, I've seen him in a lot of games. What game were you watching? I thought so. I bought last year. I don't agree with them. I uh, were in our half well, time. Did all right. I really did. I mean, I I were praising him throughout throughout the game. Because he did get into positions where he took shots. Not brilliant. I Wilfred shot. Nanto had a good game on Saturday, but that's just my personal <laughs> opinion. I thought he, Wilfred Nanto, I thought he played really well. Yeah, the, 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 the three substitutions he made, I didn't understand the three substitutions he made at the same no. time. I thought they were a bit um, suspect. But to be fair, it would be on to it. He was blowing a bit, Jess. He put in a lot of a graft that day. A lot mm. of running. Look at it this way, Stu. We made them three. It made them three substitutions, took Guev off. 120 seconds later, we were 1-0 down. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> do, you think he, do you think he made them changes as attack-minded changes to go for it? Because let's, I didn't... I mean, let's be honest, Danny. Blackburn, until that point, I think they'd, I think they'd had two, two shots, two attempts, and one of them were on... No, they had one attempt and one on target. That was it first half. It, for it me, for me, him coming, him kicking all them like six attacking players on is no good shoe. He needs, you know what I mean? It's his own fault for not doing it earlier. For me, yeah, he, he, might, he made a sub at what was it, forty-five minutes or sixty-two minutes or whatever it was. That if he's not happy with the squad thing, don't be bringing six on with like 10, 15 minutes to go and open for the best. You need to be bringing. Maybe another defense, switch it up in defense, something that's more attack minded, switch it up in midfield, something that's more attack minded or that can um, break a press. You know what I mean? It's having six strikers on, there's no room for them to move one in each other's way. So for me, it don't work. Um, Cooper says, is it Cooper made a point there last thing he said there? Um, is it a case of us um, d d um, losing a nerve, Danny? Yeah, it, it's down to for me. It's down to player mentality. You know what I mean? I don't think they can handle the pressure. Right, thanks, Lee. So Lee's been making a mental note. Of these messages don't care. That's all. What is that for now? Um, roll the dice. Change is needed. Much change can, can be done. Fortune favours to be rave and all that. Um, who, 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 who dares Rodgers? Yeah, it's all right. You see, if I was if I was Farker and I was going to bring Joseph in as a striker, I wouldn't be bringing him now at a bright minute halfway the season. Would you give him half an hour each game, Danny, between now and end of season? Bring him on I'd from the 60th minute. I'd probably bring him on uh, half, half time of each game. Is that what you, yeah? Is that you what, what you I mean? do? What would you do with Joseph, Jess? I'd bring him on a bit earlier than he gets, but whether people like it or not, Patrick Bamford's the most experienced striker we've got. So Patrick will start. 
I don't think it, it's like Danny says, detriment, detrimental wise, if he goes and misses chances or something that could get us up and we end up in playoffs, you know what it can be like at times. It can be very toxic. But I think bringing him on at 60, 65 minutes, you can't get into a game in 10 minutes. You just can't. You can't do or not. He needs 10 minutes to get warmed up for me. 60, 65 minutes, bring him on, absolutely, indeed. And, Danny, I remember something you said to me um, about Bamford. There's no point bringing Bamford on as a sub. He's not, he's not, an, impact, he's not an impact sub. With Bamford, you, if you're going to get out out of him, you've got to get it out of him from start from if he starts games rather than coming on off at bench. It's like a lot of Leeds fans were calling for Bamford to be dropped, yeah. right? So yeah. we drop him against Blackburn, we lose. For me, if if he'd have played that game from the start, I don't think we'd have lost that game. We might have got a draw out of it, but I don't think we'd have lost it. Yeah, because I'm going to say there's no guarantees that we were going to win the game, but we were on for a draw, though, Danny. That's the word. that that's. I mean, and I and I and I remember saying this, and um, I remember saying the draw's not good enough. We need even if we'd have got a draw out that game from one nil, even if we did finish nil nil, it wouldn't have been enough. But to lose that game the way we did, you know, and like you says, we took off um, we took off crew effort, and 120 seconds later, the score. And I remember calling Guru every first half because he back to he tracked his man all the way back into into our penalty box. He actually mm. ran all the way back. He ran with he went with his man. You know, I mean, whereas smart that Smodits or whatever it's called, he seemed to have a lot of space on that side when he got when he received that ball before he struck it. He had a lot yep. of space. There were no one hardly anywhere near him. And I think you know, do you think do you think making too many changes all at once though, Danny, didn't help neither? Can it upset the, the um the, can it upset the team, unbalance it for, for about third for about five, five minutes for everyone to get it back into the positions again? Yeah, I says to you, Stu, if I was gonna make one 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 um change, it'd have either been Roberts for Kamara or it'd have been Nonto for Rutter. Making when he made three changes, it shocked me. I wasn't expecting three. Hmm. John agrees with you, Danny. He says we can't we can't throw Joseph in from the start. Yeah, we can't throw yeah. him in from the start. It's, it's like chucking a it's like chucking a like it's like chucking what is it? What's that? chucking a line to a pack of wolves? You just can't do it. Because let's be honest, Ellen Road, he can turn like you said, Jess, like a pack of bloody wolves. It can, it can, Everything. it really can. You see, my, my thing with that is, right, can Joseph do what he's doing for 90 minutes? Yeah, we've seen it in one game against Chelsea, but that game was a, if we lose, we lose, if we win, we win. You know, there were no pressure, Wallet. There were no pressure yeah. on it. it, were, it were, you know, we were expecting to lose that game, truth be told. Yeah, so throwing, throwing him in the deep and nothing with something on it, you know what I mean? Could be a lot worse. Jess, do you think the season's done for Leeds? Be, what I mean by that is playoffs. Do you think that's what the best we can hope for now? Or do you think there's still that remote chance that we can <coughs> finish the automatic? Well, I'm not a negative Leeds United fan. I'm a realist like Danny. I think if we go and beat Middlesbrough, it's game on. Yeah. If we lose to Middlesbrough and Leicester and Ipswich and Southampton also win over the weekend because we play last... Mm -hmm. I would say we are in the playoffs, in my personal opinion. Ipswich don't play this weekend, they don't play till 27th. Well, they're, they're even better, they've even got a nice little break. And I'm not saying Leicester's got an easy game because West Brom are pretty decent. Preston are decent with Southampton tomorrow. But I think if we lose at Middlesbrough, I think it's playoffs. And if not, I think it's game until the end of the season, but I think it will go down to the wire on the end of the season. It will be the last game that decides everything. Mm -hmm. You see, and Leicester, um, they've got a better home record than an away record. They've got three home games and one away. We've got two away, one at home. Ipswich have got two away, one at home. Um, Southampton have got 
um, three away, two at home. Do you think that can come into play as well, Danny? Well, I was watching a lot this morning on Joe's show, and Joe was on about to him, look, you've got home games coming up. Surely that's um, going to be more better for you. And according to Locks, Leicester have played better away this season than what they have put home. Wow. See, so it's still on. It's still every. It's all to play for then, and it? it really is all to play for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thanks, Lee. Um, the fo- the um, that formation change that did the did it make that did that mainly? I think. Maybe Archie needs um, half a dozen games to get used to the midfield again. Um, also, six games to build an understanding with Gruev. Um, in short, three games left. So, Well, no, because it, it do not need six games to get an understanding with him. When they're training, when they're doing all the training, it's like, in, it's like back up, might stick Kamara with Gruev in training, and then he might stick Archie in and grew up together in training. They get used to it that way. Um, John says, never mind losing it, but it's a must-win game um, for me, or we will be in the playoffs. Well, like, like I said to you, before we went live, if we lose against Middlesbrough and QPR, and Ipswich get a draw against either Coventry, Hull, or Huddersfield, they're promoted. That's mad, isn't it? That's crazy, that. And there is a strong possibility, you know, and and I don't want to be negative. I don't. But there's a strong possibility that we could lose to Middlesbrough because we don't do well against Middlesbrough. Um, or we don't tend to do well against Middlesbrough. And QPR are fighting for their lives at bottom. Yep. You know, and Southampton, let's be honest, if Southampton get the results against Preston, Cardiff, Leicester and Stoke, they're going to be well up for that game against Leeds at Ellen Road. They're going to mm-hmm. be well up. And we, they know that we're going to be nervous. We, it, it's it's what Le- being a Leeds fan's all about. You, you live on your nerves when you're a Leeds fan. Mm. Could you just imagine this, Jim, yeah? <coughs> so, Leicester lose games, Ipswich lose games and stay up there. Southampton win all their games, we lose our games. Could you just imagine it last game of the season, Southampton win against us and go up automatically? And as champions, Ellen Road. Oh, God. Yeah. If that happens, we won't recover for playoffs. We won't recover. We'll only be playing two games. We won't be playing the third. Depends who we get from in thing. In playoffs. Little Miss Piggy wears the pants. You are not wrong, Leeds Angels. You are not wrong, Jules. Miss, little Miss Piggy does wear the pants. Honestly, that is that's a good point. That little, um, they're talking about little Miss Piggy in chat. Bless them. Mm-hmm. They're all having a good chat about little Miss Piggy. Um, 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 Kuva says that little Miss Piggy is um obsessive bunny boiler. I love her. It's amazing how our um, it makes me wear chat goes, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. I love it. I think it's brilliant. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know what I like about it, uh, the chat? And I'm hoping at least what goes on your chat, Jess. And I'm hoping I can speak for both channels here. It can stay like that, you know, having a bit of a laugh, a bit of positive, you know, a bit yes. of a joke. 100%. You know, you know the, the world needs more of Little Miss Piggy joke, Little Miss Piggy chat. I, I will agree with that. Indeed, Kermit is a soft lad. Kermit is a soft lad. He's a frog, isn't he, Kermit? Yeah, yeah. he's a frog. That's that's like me now, last isn't it? Who she's not? Is she there, Danny? She's in living room. No, but I'm saying that's that way. Like, no, the the way I'm saying it is when she comes in and tells me off. I'm the I'm the I'm the one that goes. Okay, no problem. Yeah, snap, <laughs> snap, mate, snap. Believe me, snap. I love the positivity from you all. Thanks, Naomi. We we love you and all, Naomi. We do. Little Miss Piggy is a martial arts expert and a style icon. Little Miss Piggy is a martial arts. I wouldn't want to tackle with her, would you? No, no. You know what, though? No. Pigs make good pork chops. 
Don't they make a nice Sam Shank and all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't done it. <laughs> you do though, do they? Over me, so I'm going to spit roast next to you. Daddy, me. <laughs> little charm. <laughs> Don't, don't come oh, out Danny that almost in smoke. Danny almost went up in smoke. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you the question now, if you don't mind. What do you think, Stu? Is it automatics or is it uh, playoffs? I'm staring at these fixtures. I've been staring at these fixtures for ages. Um... If it wants a close, I'd say playoffs. I would. I'd say playoffs. I want to say that we're getting automatic. But I've, I'd, I'd, I think once you're out of form, I think it's hard to find form within three games. Mm -hmm. um, Middlesbrough's the key, isn't it? Middlesbrough. I mean, I, I know we said it about Sunderland, that lap with the key game, but Middlesbrough is the key game, isn't it? It has to be. If we don't get it out well against Middlesbrough, playoffs for me. Um, if I were a betting man, I'd put my money on playoffs now. What about you, Lee? Uh, well, what about that? Automatic or playoffs for Leeds? Automatic. Right, fair enough. Jeff? Yes. My heart tells me we'll go up second, and my head tells me we'll go in playoffs. You see, for me, Jess. I'm going to play off. I'm going to say playoffs. And you're saying playoffs, Danny? Yep. What are Anything you saying, Harry? Automatic or playoffs for late? Playoffs. Harry says playoffs too. <laughs> I don't know if you love what we're doing well. I love little Miss Piggy and I do a fairly good impression of her too. Nobody's <laughs> telling me that. I'll be wanting to hear it. Um, Evie, um, Scooby, every, everyone's sending a lot of each other, which is good. Um, good to see. How's your hair doing, Evie? I hope it's still um, worth the six hours, um, eight and a half yeah. hour with hairdresser. It, it actually looks nice. I saw her on Joe's um, last night. It, it actually looks nice. It does suit her. Right, I'm going to go back and look at Joe's. I'll be clipping that picture, don't you worry, Evie. Did you oh, even yeah. that, that, that person? No, no, not like that, no. I told you, Jess, that, that's gone. <laughs> look, 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 you know, you don't Did they get that grave? Yeah, I'm digging that, yeah. Evie, why is Mrs. Piggy mean? It's asking everybody blessing. <laughs> why is Mrs. Piggy mean a Kermit the Frog? Oh, bless her. Um, laugh out loud. Claire, I agree. We have to keep faith until it is impossible. Why, Scooby? Now you I'll give everyone's I only you struggle to see you I'll winning any you remaining you. game. I'll give you the answer to that. Easy. It's easy enough why she always off of him. Because you know she can wipe him out little finger. So anything she says goes and he'll do it. A bit like me and Stu. Be like all of us, Danny, I'm afraid, mate. I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Evening, Boss League um, this, uh, and his minions. Hiya, Kieran. Hope you're doing well, mate. Thank Hope you're doing well. Kieran, I'm glad you're in. Who's getting automatic for you? In, out of, uh, who's getting who's getting any automatic promo, um, slots and who's getting the playoffs out of Leicester? Um, Leeds, Ipswich, and Southampton. Who's going up automatic and who's going to be in playoffs out of the four teams? Is Southampton fan to we'll have a different opinion on it? Um, big up Lee, um, and Northern family. Big up, um, Chris. Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope you're doing well, sir. Hope you're doing well. Big up, Christopher. I can do. To prepare your man to prepare your men for marriage, the mortal technique saying. 
Well, I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I, I nodded off, um, had a weird dream, and now I can't help but wonder, to be honest. <laughs> I've often wondered. Excuse I'll tell you something, Steve. You dream about some dodgy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Danny just comes out with it as... D Danny's the Danny and John, you know, Danny and John. Are, d d d honest to God, there must be most two no, open, open minded, honest speakers I've ever met. Well, that Danny and John, give me some itch was Alan's power. You reckon it's which will lead to go up it play automatically, Kieran? Wow, wow, wow. see, that's from a Southampton yeah. fan. So, if we've all got different perpetrations, haven't we? We've all mm. got different reputations. I, I mean, right. I think I think every Leeds fan will be hoping and praying that we go. But if they're honest, I'm going to say I'm here to spot my Leeds fans. Big up, Rob. Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. So much to like, follow family. Thanks, um, Leeds Angels. Much appreciated, love. Much appreciated. Um, Rob, and um, well, please, please skip you through all these. Um, Jess, where can people find you, love, while he's skipping through his messages? <laughs> I'll be here, but I won't even say it. Um, <laughs> well, you can find me on Corners six nights a week after 10 p.m. But no, on a serious note, you can find me over at JSY White Talks Football. Everybody's welcome in. Any fans from any channel, we try and have a good laugh and obviously do football as well. I've got some really good shows coming up this week. So if you don't know where to find me, check me out at JSY White Talks Football on the road to 500 subs. You, Danny, where can people find you, my friend? Where can I Um <laughs> <laughs> You, you can either find me on this channel, Jesse's channel, or all on my socials. <laughs> Good thanks, Naomi. Been a stressful day with work. How are you doing? Um, I like the fact that the pressure is off us, though. Um, so can hopefully start strutting our business whilst the above three uh, are all panicking. See, that's another thing as well. Are we panic? You know, it's a combination of everything: panic, men mentality, stress. It could be a combination of absolutely. And do you know the 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 aren't any answers from it? They'll, they'll be going away from this show thinking, "Well, we had a good time. We, we know we now know why why uh, Miss Piggy treats Kermit the way she does, <laughs> but we haven't got a clue what the what the show were about." I don't think I've got anything what show we're about no mind <laughs> 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 um, I think it's hard I think it's hard to answer Stu because we, we we'll say one thing, like you say, and then something else will pop up and something else will pop up and it's you just can't get the right answer. So sometimes I guess the the, the best answer is never there's no answer. <laughs> Naomi says I'm good thanks so we spent all day at the hospital because they were running behind went to check on my check up on my hand why didn't you just go why didn't you just go to neighbours Naomi they checked on him probably from your hand for you <laughs> <laughs> uh. If we win at right, um, how are you all coping? With, how are you coping with it, Naomi? That's the pro do you know, Naomi and Evie are probably best two to have that conversation, actually. Um, if we win the games, just like we just need Leicester to draw and Ipswich to lose for us to go up. The hurdle being well, actually winning our games, I don't think we do. See, that's right. even the Southampton fans are the same. You don't think they're going to win all the games. If Leeds, if Leeds lose the next two games and Southampton win the two games, they're on the level on points with us. Wow, 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 uh, wow. Can I ask you one final question? Out of the four teams we've discussed, who deserves to go up? For me, so start, yeah, let's start with Danny. Go on. 
What, who deserves to go in top two? Yeah, who deserves to go up, yeah. Ipswich and... I'm going to say Leicester. Jess? Mm, Ipswich Town and Leeds United for me. Well, we we we, we swept up all awards, didn't we? Young player at season, player at sea championship in awards. I think some of them won championship player at season. Um, Archie Graham, uh, young player at season, and I think um, Rutter won an award as well. Well, Rutter, Ampadu, and some of them were in the team of the year. Archie Gray won two awards, which was the apprentice of the year and young player of the year, and some of them won the player of the. Yeah, and Daniel Daniel Farker and whoever else missed out to, which we, I thought was a good choice. McKenna winning the manager of the season. So did I. I thought it was a good choice. Lee, I'm going to ask you the same question. Out of the two, out of the four teams, who deserves to go up? Not who do you want to go up? Who deserves to go up? Probably it's Rich. Yeah. And Leeds. And Leeds. Mm. What about you, Stu? You see, ordinarily, I'd, I'd definitely say Ipswich deserve to go up. There's no doubt about it, right? Because yep. I think they've been, I think, I think they've been fantastic this season. I really do. Um, I would have said, do you know, I would have said Leicester, Danny, but they chucked a 17 point lead away. And if you to do that, it's criminal. It's criminal to do that. It's criminal, but. The bit, the bit, they haven't been out of, they haven't been out of the top two stew all season. Well, top three yeah. all season. So. They don't have left. <laughs> he's coming back. No, he's. He, you see, and Southampton, I went on that twenty odd game unbeaten run, didn't they? Mhm. Mm so we. I'm gonna, do you know? I'm going to go Ipswich. See, like, like he says, Danny, Leicester haven't been out of the top two all season, have they? No. Nope. But Leeds have done so well to uh, crawl them points back. Yeah, but w was that us doing so well, or was that other teams messing well, up? Well, it, it, it were other teams who were taking points off of Leicester. We didn't take the points off Leicester. Well, we did, yeah. but other teams took the over 15 point, 14 points off of Leicester, didn't they? Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna go um I'm gonna go um it's switching leads. I'll have to. I've got to I've got to but oh if you, diplomatic answer it's switching Leicester. My heart my heart's gonna say Leeds all the time, but it's switching Leicester. But Leeds Leeds have done well this season. To, to yeah. say my, we, season, my diplomatic so answer is Leicester. But my heart says uh, Ipswich and Leeds. Mm. Some of the best players I've seen in the Championship, Rodon looks different, good defensive, look good. Rodon's been fantastic for us defensively, Rob. I think I've already seen him make one mistake. Um, well, no, two mistakes all season. It's this far. I think that's the only things I've seen him make mistakes in. Whoever deserves to go up will finish it top two. It's not an answer, in my opinion. It's well, not, not a great answer question. Like I said, Stu, you, you'll finish where you deserve to finish. That's a fair point. It's a fair point. It's been done. It. We, we have earned um, those points back. Um, not our fault that um, Enzo is weak in the um, head and, has a, uh, and he has the best squad. Now, I think we've got the best squad, but you cannot, yeah, we went on that 14, 14 game unbeaten run. But did we go too early? Well, you said that less, you said tell Phantom jumped too early, didn't you? Mm -hmm. you? You did say that, I remember you saying that. These awards, I'm not sure. Um, where they've pulled the winners from. By Leverkusen and Liverpool and Spurs all sniffing around some of them. Yep. And he's got a 40, 45 million price tag on his back. Hmm. 
Wow. Wow. Has anyone got else want to say in chat or on screen before we start wrapping it short so just can like uh, go on away and have a cup of a show? I'm good, John. Carry on for some legends and later. But um I I won't lead to win at Middlesbrough just to um, see a smile back on Jesse's face. That's nice. Um I still don't have a number to send her pictures of Ruth <laughs> looking through a veg yet. <laughs> <laughs> Coover, you might have to um, get in touch with her anyway if you're still doing your Leeds United uh, all time 11. Yeah, that needs to be done as well. So, Jess, what, for, what have we got to look forward to on your show this week? Can you remember what, what stuff you've got scheduled? Everton, Chelsea tonight, oh. FC Barcelona, Paris Saint Germain tomorrow, plus off, Hampton, Preston. Wednesday, we're doing double watch long. Stacey's going to do Arsenal by Munich. I'm doing Manchester City versus Real Madrid. Thursday, me, you, and whomever's on doing West Ham and Liverpool. Friday, it's the best XI. Saturday, it's Leicester, West Brom, Arsenal, Wolves, late night quiz. And that's as far as I've got up to. <laughs> Obviously, no, I've got some fleets on the Monday. Three, yeah, Jess. Wow. Yeah, I've got a lot. That's normal. Putting in the effort, though, Jess, that's what I like to see. Indeed. Hello, um, hello, legends. How is everyone doing today? Hi, Adela. Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope you're doing well. I have like Adela. Yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, Jamie's in chat. Big up, Jamie. Hey, up, Jamie. Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope you're doing well. All I love to you, Jamie. All I love to you, mate. Um, and what have we got scheduled, Lee? Nothing. Um, no, we haven't. We, no, we ain't got a schedule now off with for this week, which is which is which is probably a blessing in disguise if I'm honest. But we will be on um Jesse's channel either in chat or on screen, so mm -hmm. don't worry about it. like you don't get rid of us that easy. No. Um and mm -hmm. I'm sure Danny will be in chat and stuff as well. So check us all out over at JS Wide All Football. Much appreciated, everybody. Much appreciated. Jamie, sir, please tell us why Mrs. Piggy is mean to Kermit the Frog. Oh god. <laughs> Is he still asking that question? Yeah. <laughs> Scooby, I, I love you, mate, but your your wine works in a weird way. Mysterious way. Must have met. How are you doing today, David? Um, I'm just waiting for Jamie to give him an answer before we go. If he's going to give him an answer before we go. <laughs> well, no, Jamie, it'll be an answer that we're not expecting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's something like um, um she was she's needing a peace pipe or something uh, before then um, you know she's desperate for a peace pipe. And Lee got break has Lee got real cream on? I don't think so. Well, is there stuck? Okay. <laughs> Scooby is crazy as a house rat sometimes. It is after the box of frog, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, can you answer, Jamie? Can you tag? Do you can you answer um, Scooby's question? Or don't you not answer? <laughs> it's gonna come in mind, and I answer the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I might put Mrs. Piggy in my window tonight. Yeah, yeah dear me. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. <laughs> Is Danny eating or is he lying? I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> no, I've just opened my new beer. No, I thought you were eating again, Danny. That's nice, that's Skittles. <laughs> no, that Skittles is nice. <laughs> very nice. Right, well, look, guys, thank you very much for your honour. With, with your answer too, please, Jess. <laughs> I don't know why she's so mean to Kermit the Frog. Some women are like that, aren't they? Mean. I don't know. <laughs> How much is that piggy in the window? <laughs> well, uh, the one thing I will take what I, uh, look, went on your channel the other day, I know it went a bit mad, but I remember, um, I think it was Adrian, he says that they went into a butcher's nicked a pig and ran down the road with it. 
<laughs> I'd switched off by then, Stu, I won't lie. I was dreaming on being in Caribbean somewhere. I won't lie, I don't know. I'll have a day. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, uh, for your time today. Really um, enjoyed your chill out chat. I mean, much love. Cheers, potato stew, mate. Much appreciated. I have no idea, um, Scoop. Yeah. <laughs> Go Google it and find out, Scooby, and let us know. Seen a bit easy. Right, guys. Um, yeah, well, we're going to get off as well, actually. We've nearly done. We've nearly done. Um, how long is that piece of string? How long is the piece of string for? Because she is over bearing and controlling. Typical woman. That they de um, that they depends on um, how long it how long is it? Oh god. <laughs> oh um Jamie, I heard you. um Asians should do our hypnosis. Hypnosis. Checking yeah. in late to say hi and smashing the like. Cheers, well, like, thanks you very much, mate. Much appreciated. Um, Jesse's got a question down below um, from um, ah. Kuva, mate. No, he hasn't passed it over to me, mate. No. No. He <laughs> hasn't. So, yeah, um, happy days. Oh, woman, it's right, over. Yeah. Wait a minute. I found your number in Talking Ball. I'll message you now and see you've got my number. I've got you, Kuva. Sorted, mate. I've messaged you. Beautiful message, Sam. <laughs> it's good to see Danny on stream. It's good to see Danny on stream. It's good to see Danny on stream. Has anyone got else I want to say before we start wrapping up, Danny and Jess? No, no just uh, let's all match on TV if we can. That's it for me. Good man, good man, good man. What about you, Jess? What do you want to say? Be kind. <laughs> Everybody be kind. Yeah, that's it. I agree. Um, Lake, John, um, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for watching this TV. It's a goodbye from me. It's a goodbye from me. It's a goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. <laughs> See you all soon. <laughs>